what are the contours of this transformation of the world economy that, that I've been speaking about? I think they're quite a number that I think some of which will surprise you. The first is that not only have advanced countries and their companies and banks and private equity firms begun to discover that it's the emerging markets where there's a lot of growth, but it's firms from the emerging markets themselves who also have discovered this. And so when you think about China's and India's forays into sub-Saharan Africa, for instance, this is because the Chinese and Indian investors, as well as the Brazilians and some other emerging market companies, have figured out that that's where the growth is. And they are seeking markets for growth, just as the advanced country companies and banks are. So one of the features of the fact that emerging market companies have begun to penetrate other emerging markets is what economists call trade between the southern countries. Typically, the nomenclature thinks about the advanced countries as the north, and the developing countries are the emerging markets as constituting the south. South-South trade, that is trade between emerging market countries, in the last decade has grown significantly from about 6% in the late 1990s to now more than 20% of world trade. That is to say, a fifth of world trade now is accounted for by exchange of goods and services between the emerging markets. Historically, the tradition is north-south trade and investment, or the trade and investment across northern countries, so that you know, the US investing and trading with Canada, Europeans trading with the US and with the Japanese. This has been turned on its head, or is beginning to be turned on its head, by the rise of South-South trade and investment. Now, I've given you one statistic that 20% of world trade is now comprised of trade among emerging markets. When you look at investment, the outflows of foreign direct investment from emerging markets, one-third of those investments are actually being made in other emerging markets. This has, I think, a profound view about how you should begin to think about your competitive strategies for two reasons. One, everybody now is beginning to look at emerging markets. And so whereas the northern companies or institutional investors used to have a wide open game, a relatively wide open game in the emerging markets, they're now facing new competitors. It's not just the GEs competing against the Siemens in Africa, but they're competing against similar firms from Brazil or India or China. 